Well, it's a new year, January 1st, so there's new regulations, new laws, and new tax breaks for you. John Robson in our Ottawa studio has the latest. John, what is going to happen when the clock strikes midnight tonight? Well, government will congratulate itself on having saved us from ourselves and will <laughs> not have done this thing. In fact, one of the things that's coming up is a further crackdown on smoking in Ontario. Uh, we're not quite up to the two-minute hate yet, but uh, they're going to ban all uh, smoking on children's playgrounds. Not, I mean, there's a pretense here that 38th hand smoke is going to lay waste to children of the nation, but really it's shaming. They're trying mm -hmm. to prevent children from seeing adults smoking because they figure that way no child will smoke. And it's not a matter of personal responsibility. It's not a matter of what your parents teach you. It's a matter of the government controlling the environment. Also, you know, no, again, restaurant patios. People have done these studies and they say, no level of secondhand smoke is safe. Well, this is ridiculous. Everybody knows with poison, that the, the poisonousness is in the dose. Mm -hmm. In large quantities, almost anything is poisonous. In very small quantities, nothing is. And also the bannings the sale of cigarettes on college and university campuses, I mean, the two largest prescriptions on university campuses in Canada are antidepressants and birth control, which means, first of all, that we let college students do just about anything, and secondly, they're not very happy in that regime. But on what grounds do you hand out antidepressants as though they were Halloween candy and then ban young adults from purchasing a cigarette? Now, I think that the youth of the nation are probably enterprising enough, I certainly hope so, that they can go off campus and get a cigarette. But although this is funny, it's also very serious because all the measures, particularly the taxation measures are driving people to the black market mm -hmm. that a surprising quantity of the cigarettes smoked in Ontario now are uh, illegal they're smuggled and smuggling drills holes in the border smuggling creates people whose livelihood is in getting things across the border that shouldn't be crossing the border and once you do that you start to get other things crossing the border. You start to get guns crossing the border, harder drugs, uh, people who want to commit mayhem in Canada. So it is such a loser policy. It's all based on the fact that people cannot make the responsible decision, which in my view is not to smoke. It's all fine and good to smoke. It tastes good and all that, but it's just too bad for you. So you can't smoke. I'm an ex-smoker and militant about it. But this is the wrong sort of policy. I mean, smoking has fallen dr drastically in the Western world, but it's not because government went, nee, 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 don't smoke, that, 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 snack. It's because people realized they wanted to live a long and healthy life. Yeah, well, we can talk, I mean, that the, this is the nanny state in Ontario here. They love to rule, put in rules and regulations with respect to what you can do and not do with your body. And, of course, also maintain control of liquor and beer sales in this province. We're going to move on to the federal level now. You've got a real irks with some of the additional benefits coming to parents. And I, I was shocked to see this. New tariffs coming. This is a federal government that has been pounding its chest about all the free trade agreements they've negotiated. We've actually got new tariffs coming in effect as of January 1st? Yeah, we do. And this is it because they're economic road warriors. If they were real free traders, they would understand that the point of trade isn't to have our exports pound the other guy's exports, smack him in the face, and then kick sand on him. It's to get Canadian consumers cheap stuff. Now, what's happened is that a number of countries that used to qualify for exemptions because of the fact that they were supposedly developing countries now seem to have done a decent job of developing. And so we are no longer giving them preferential tariffs. But this isn't going to really have any effect on anything because it affects less than 2% of our imports. So it is a policy that's both wrong-headed and futile. If you really believe in shutting out the products of these countries, you've got to go at it harder. If you really believe in free trade, you just want to get rid of your tariffs. Mm -hmm. So this is one of these policies that just indicates this mental inertia that afflicts governments and the hypocrisy of saying you're a free trader and then acting like you weren't. But the other one that really gets me mm -hmm. is this child tax benefit, which is not a tax cut. It is taking money from the general public to give it to people who've done something the conservatives like, which is have children. And I'm not saying that having children is a bad thing. I'm saying the government shouldn't go around rewarding everything. But they are. So they're going to increase. They're going to run the child tax benefit from the age of six. They're now going to give you $60 a month all the way up till the kids are ready to leave home. And they're going to increase the amount for children under six. But... And this, to me, is the snakiest thing of all. Although it kicks in on January 1st, they're going to wait and give it all, give you a lump sum in July, hmm. right before the election. Hi, I'm Steve Harper, and I just stuffed someone else's money in your wallet. And they're doing it with the child tax fitness credit, too. And again, you listen to Stephen Harper, who used to be a libertarian, he's apparently turned into a communist because he says, you know, anything that's good, children exercising is good, therefore you should get money. I mean, all kinds of things are good. Does this mean everything that's good should get money? Well, you listen to the Harper government tell it, yeah, it turns out it doesn't look as though this policy really quite accomplishes what it means to. It seems to give 
money back to the sort of people who put their kids in fitness programs anyway, so it benefits the affluent all of it, but it's so cynical to load all this stuff up and give it to you right before the election. Instead of reducing the burden of government, they're increasing it in a cunning way. Yeah, well, we're going to have to leave it there, John. We're not going to change these rules coming into effect uh, as of January 1st. A very happy new year to you. And we're going to have to take... Thank you to all the viewers. Thank you so much.